coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. Every Wednesday during the high school football season, we bring you the best sights and sounds each week in a segment we like to call the Highlight Zone Two Minute Drill. But when you're playing for a state title, you need more than 120 seconds to soak in an afternoon at Lucas Oil Stadium. While the 4A state championship game didn't have the outcome East Noble and their fans would have liked, the kids from Kendallville gave us quite a journey through 15 weeks of football. We go behind the scenes with Luke Amstutz and the Knights for a special Saturday in the Circle City. It is now time for the 4A state championship game featuring the Knights of East Noble High School as they take on Evansville Memorial. The Tigers back at Lucas Oil for a third consecutive season, but the first time in Class 4A. We're ready. We're ready. I've been waiting all week. Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen! Evansville Memorial and East Noble both have been the most physical team, you know, in every game they played, and that's the reason they're meeting here in the state championship. Now the time has come. Now to Indianapolis for you to look each other in the eye, to run out of the tunnel, and to make history. To be the only team in the state of Indiana that sits at 15 0. The only team. So we can walk out of here and look everybody in the face and say, We are the best team in the state of Indiana. And you can walk proudly in your town with your chest up and your chin up and say, We are the best of all time. How many people get to say that? Not very freaking many. Let's freaking go break down. Yeah! The obvious difference between these two teams is the fact that Memorial has been here the last two years. There are several players for the Tigers that are three-year starters and have appeared in state championship games in 2017 and 2018. How do you quantify the difference that makes in today's game? That experience is huge because right now both sides have butterflies, but I can guarantee East Noble's got a little bit more. Memorial's been here the last couple of years, and that's why one of the keys for me was East Noble's just got to settle down, just play football. Congratulations and good luck to both teams. Play hard today, and most of all, be a good sport. And like it always goes, you can be sky high, but once somebody hits you, once you get your shoulder pads set a little bit, you get that first hit, that first play, you're just playing football like you've done your whole life. So really important for East Noble to kind of weather this first drive, first part of this first quarter, and settle down and just play their ball game. Come on, Knights, let's go! Four-man rush this time for the Knights. And again, Pence, nothing's open. It's a sack. East Noble, Van Gorder got there along with Caden Conley. Defense! Defense! for the night. So Painter, this kick much better. And that kick is good. The shutout is over. And East Noble is on the board, 3-0 in the closing seconds of the opening half. What did Coach tell you at halftime? You guys were up 3-0. to zero. You guys were playing some pretty good football. What was the message there? He told us, keep our heads up. Just uh, keep playing our hardest and uh, it'll work itself out. And, uh, well. Let's go, defense! And the biggest play of the game right now for the Tigers, third and four from the six-yard line. And again, it'll be Steptoe as the quarterback. Little option play. Reverse. Pence looks to throw. End zone. Touchdown. Brackets. First touchdown of the game belongs to Memorial. 6-3 extra point pending. What a great play there. They had Septo in the shotgun formation. Full house backfield. They flip it to Pence. He throws it to Brackett. They had that one in their back pocket ready to dial up. A little trickery gets the Tigers into the end zone, and they take the lead 6-3. Parker, intercepted, picked off, it's Lively, his second interception of the game. This time it's Combs, and Combs scores. Combs reaches the end zone, 13-3 Tigers with the extra point to come. He gives them the Superman celebration in the flex, but great job by the offensive line getting pushed. 
we just weren't as sharp as we usually are. Um, maybe our lack is a lack of focus or lack of preparation. That was the best pass defense that I've ever coached against in a high school game. Those guys, uh, you know, read their keys and got to their drops and you know got under balls and the, you know things we didn't think they could do. And uh, you know that I give their coaching staff and kids a lot of credit. And if you're East Noble, boy, you have a lot to be proud of. Yep, only one team at the end of the day is going to be the state champ. You had an undefeated season to this game. The town of Kendallville, which it seems like everybody in the world is here today, <laughs> inside of Lucas Oil. They have a lot to be proud about. I know this football team, the East Noble Knights, brought tremendous pride to their school and their community. For you, uh, what do you take away from this game? Obviously, this emotional. Um, and not the way that it would have uh, you would have liked it to turn out. But you guys have to be proud of what you've been able to accomplish this year. Oh, I'm proud of all my senior friends and all of the underclassmen. They came out, showed out for us seniors, and we the seniors did our best. You know, I love all of them, and I'm I'm just can't I can't wait to see where they go in life, and I look forward to seeing it. You know, this is a group that I'm extremely proud of, and I always will be. But um, you know, today wasn't our day, and uh, you know, we're we're going to look back and remember the experience. You know, it was an awesome experience, and. Uh, you know, I can't, say, can't wait to see what the future holds for these guys. What a great job Luke Amstutz has done in his eight years as the head coach at East Noble. This is a program that has been successful for many years. That's not going to change under his leadership. That was Greg Rakestraw and Joe Wrights on the call for the IHSAA Sports Network. We wrap up the high school football season on Christmas Day at 6 and 11 with your seventh annual Fab 15. Be sure to tune in for that. That'll do it for sports. We're back after this.